So as you might know, I've been traveling around a bit lately. I'm currently in Paris and I thought I'd make use of this beautiful space that I'm in. Got a great view of the Louvre across the street. Very nice, very convenient to go say hi to the Mona Lisa. But I thought I'd make use of this downtime to make a short video to answer the question of how exactly it is that I travel around Europe with nothing other than this leather duffel bag over here and my trusty backpack because every time I turn up in a new city and I meet someone and they see me turn up with um, two bags first thing they ask is is that all you have and I'm like yeah this is all I have and the next question is usually and how long is all of this for and I'm like I don't know as long as I wanted to I guess so today I'm going to show you what exactly it is that I take along with me in my very minimal carrying situation. So let's start off with clothes. I mean, first of all, we've got to acknowledge that it is currently springtime. And for someone who's grown up in a very tropical, humid environment, it means that this for me is sometimes pretty freezing, although the weather has been amazing in Paris recently. So I've started feeling like I've been overpacking. So that's one. The good thing about traveling during not summertime is that you don't sweat so much and so you don't really need so many changes of clothes. Although there is an argument to be made of if you have access to a washing machine, then you don't have to carry so many changes of clothes with you. But hey, if you want to spend more of your time traveling and not worrying about the laundry, then I'd say travel in springtime. And why not winter? Because if it's winter, then you've got to carry huge, huge winter jackets. And speaking of which, maybe that, that's the first item that we should start with, which is my trusty leather jacket. This iconic brown leather jacket, it's probably my staple these days, although I think the weather has gotten a bit too warm for it. But either way, I have with me, I talk about this a lot here, the merino wool. Merino wool is a special kind of wool that it's antibacterial, it's anti-odor, um, it keeps you cool when the weather is hot and it keeps you warm when the weather is cold. It's a magic wool and all of my merino wool is from Unbound Merino except for what I'm wearing right now. This is from Uniqlo. I don't know why I'm giving these companies shout outs. I'm going to stop doing that because they're not paying me. So this setup works pretty well for me. So besides my four pieces of Merino clothing, I've just got um, two thermals. Got a pair of shorts, these double S swim shorts in case I ever go into a pool. A pair of sweatpants and my underwear situation I think is a guy's pretty simple just bring bring enough pairs. Yeah so that's underwear situation. I don't know why some people get really sensitive about showing the underwear in camera. Oh, oh, yeah, it's underwear. The good ones too. Nothing to hide. Um, merino socks and I've also just got a pair that's not from merino in case I want to do something where, I don't, where the socks might get ruined like going on a hike and I don't want to bring necessarily a pair of 25 $40 socks. So that's clothes. Oh yeah and of course a black pair of Uniqlo jeans and a pair of long socks on me as well. Okay just one sec I forgot I have a shirt for working out and a shirt in case I want to go to a beach party or something. So that's clothes done. Um, oh wait, yeah, and a pair of shorts. Anyway, that's clothes. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. Okay. Um, let's move on to tech. Let's move on to technology. So when I travel, I actually always travel with my podcast microphone. And I have a pretty nice setup with a mini stand where I'm not going to set it up right now, but always travel with my podcast microphone just in case you never know when inspiration strikes. Um, my Logitech mouse, love this mouse, it's the MX Master, assigned all the stuff for my workflow, really optimizes it. Um, my MacBook, 
mini light. Really love this. This has been so useful. It's such a bright light and whenever you're in a situation where it's a blackout or if you're going hiking, I brought this along and used it to light the way. Felt like a hero then. Um, got my laptop stand, AirPods, of course, in a matching case to my brown get up cable case for all the charging cables some ssds are very important for storage and this pouch i got from turkish airlines i just took it from the plane and use it for my travel adapters and is that it for tech ah oh, okay and what's hidden behind the camera or what is the camera rather that you can't see because obviously it's the camera is I've got two tripods my iPhone is filming over there my main travel vlog camera is over there I didn't want to bring my big camera around because obviously carry on only for this trip I didn't want to pay extra for check-in bags or anything like that because you know in Europe they make money off people who can't pack like this. I've also got a lavalier microphone set up, the DJI one with the charging case. So that's tech. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna swipe my tech off the table. Uh, I guess miscellaneous stuff. Uh, sunglasses. Okay, not miscellaneous items rather, sorry, very important items. I think the two things I travel with right now that are really important are my icons and my rosary this is from i think roman catholic gear this is the gunmetal finesse rosary talk about it a lot i carry it on my person every day and i you get mugs you pull this out and no i'm not saying you can do that i mean if it's an emergency and they say that the rosary is indeed a, indeed a weapon carry a notebook do i write in it mm. Got a wallet, though I don't really carry my wallet around just because I feel like you're asking to be pickpocketed if you carry a wallet and uh, I think it just makes you a target and I don't feel comfortable just losing all of my stuff at once. If I get pickpocketed, just pickpocket whatever I have, not my entire wallet and my entire net worth. Gone. I've got a sleep mask as well, got an exercise band just for some simple workouts and obviously you don't want to carry a dumbbell in your carry-on and uh, got a microfiber towel it's a bit small but it does the job in case you're ever in a situation where you can't you don't have a towel and this is a lifesaver uh shoes i've got my trusty boots they're from clark's they have brought me that i've had them from before i've had these shoes for five years and they've brought me I think across the world these are quite sentimental now they've been with me to many places but I realized that you know you can't just travel with boots you've got to have some alternative pair of shoes if you want to do other things and if you want to walk around so these are actually just really cheap shoes from a South African budget store I think they cost about $20 and I put them in this shoe separating bag just to make sure that the soles of my feet do not touch my clothes. So that's two pairs of shoes, that's what I have. In terms of toiletries, very simple toothbrush. Um, I've actually got some lip balm because when I first got to the colder climates, my lips were really chapped. I think it's gone better now. Some hair wax, deodorant, uh, some simple clean. Um, nothing special is that all in terms of shaving this is all i have it's just a really simple pen sized trimmer and last thing i'm really proud of is this nail clipper now this nail clipper even has a usually with these catching nail clippers you've got to pour out the nails with this one there's even a thing that you open the flap for and you just pour out the nails really amazing stuff and it's made of this very matte metal material and this is always getting me into trouble at 
the airport security. They always think it's a knife. So I've started separating it from my bag when I check it in. So they know, okay, that's a nail clipper, not a knife. This guy's not trying to shank someone on the plane. I've also got some supplements that my dietitian tells me that I have to take. Have I been good at taking them? Not necessarily, but I, I try my best and I think it's good enough that I've at least brought them with me. Last but not least, as every good minimalist has a hairdryer. Is there anything I forgot? Yeah, this leather bag is from Cape Town really nice and Cape Town has a lot of affordable leather very happy with it and this leather jacket was also from Cape Town but from a thrift store owned by a very drunk woman and this is my backpack and this is the Bellroy Apex and I know that people are gonna look up this backpack and come after me about the price but for me this backpack is the best thing I've ever had I'm not going to do an advertisement for them. main reason I got this bag is simply because it was the only bag that had brown leather accents and you know, you know how I like my brown leather. So that was it. This is all that I carry with me when I travel around. I actually have a Notion page where I document everything that I own. Now this is not everything I own, but I actually have a sub page on there where I document everything that I travel with. So if you want some inspiration with as to how to organize your packing for your next trip, just head on to that link below and you can actually duplicate that page and try to follow the columns and the concept of categorizing and all of that stuff and you can probably come up with your own packing list. So enjoy that and subscribe, like, do all of those nice things.